Hello everybody, it's Victor here. Today we're going to have a review on Prometheus Engineer Suit by NECA. Uh, I didn't really care for the normal version, so I just opted just to get the the chair suit, because I, you know, I like the whole space jockey kind of thing going on there. I picked mine off of Amazon because my local Toys R Us has been really bad and they don't like to stock things very often, and I know this particular figure has been out for about two weeks now and it's never been in stock there so I finally found it for a reasonable price on eBay or eBay on Amazon and it was a $21.99 and while I was at it I also picked up the Blu-ray the 3D Blu-ray DVD digital copy Prometheus and that's uh, the 4 disc edition very nice it's a good movie I really liked it you know, a lot of people had a little, uh, were a little judgment about it because it wasn't, a, you know, a precise prequel to the Alien, uh, you know, movies. But overall, I think it was pretty good. So let's put that to the side, and let's take a look at the figure itself. Ah, yes, isn't it amazing? And you got the engineer suit. Me, warning. Uh, all the designers and stuff, you know, the 20th Century Fox, barcode. Okay, let's take a look at the back here, at the box, and, and let me zoom in a bit, if that helps. So you got a little man in the doorway, the med lab, the space jockey and the, the seat thing. Uh, lady, forget her name, and the helmet. And there's the figure itself. Engineer chair suit. Not sure how well I could see that. But if you want, you could pause it or find that online somewhere. All right, so let's just open this up and see what we got. Alright, and here we have the Space Engineer figure itself in all its glory. Some very nice uh, detail on this. I'm not too impressed with the feet though, with the with the shoes. They're not, they're kind of boring. You know, there's not a whole lot going on there. They just look like slip-on shoes or Crocs or something. The arm, the back, the butt. Back of the knees. Let's take a look at this detail. Some nice little tubings. The arm details. Um, the hands. Now, one thing I would hope that American companies uh, would do, just like the Japanese companies with their figures, is give exchangeable hands. You know, just not even have to be a lot. You know, like an open hand, you know, maybe like a closed fist hand or something, you know, or like a holding hand so it can hold stuff if you want to put something in it. That little hair. That detail, though, it's, it's a really good paint job, too. And all the joints on mine are pretty stiff, so I didn't have any problems with any of that. And in case you're all interested, yes, it does come out. But it doesn't, but because of this little lift part right here, you can't really have it out. It has to be tucked under the the chest area. But this is a soft rubber though, so it does have a good amount of uh, give. But the nose itself is pretty hard, so you know that's really plastic. Okay, now you're not really going to get a whole lot of uh, articulation out of the head here. For one, it has these tubes attached to it, and you don't really want to break those by, you know, moving the head too much. And then the trunk's in the way too, so... Well, I guess that's like an air hose or something to feed to the mask. So you get a little bit of up and down. Some left to right. You can tilt this head. That's always a nice touch. 
Now, like I said, the joints on mine are pretty stiff. The shoulder joint right here itself doesn't really move too much, aside from around, but you can't lift it. See? And you got the twist right here, above the elbow, below the shoulder. One uh, bend here at the elbow. And you got a swivel on the wrist. And you got a diaphragm joint. And like I said, this is the soft rubbery plastic, so you could get a good amount of movement. But again, you got hoses tucked here and there. So you don't want to move it too much. You don't want a chance of breaking anything. And the legs. It's on like a wide, on the wide joint, so you don't get a whole lot out of it. So you can much just get that, that. And see that? That's pretty much it. You get a kick if you turn it. But yeah, that's not a whole lot going on there. And for the knees, you get that much. Not a whole, so yeah, don't expect a whole lot of articulation out of these things. And yeah, you could get some, you know, decent poses, but don't, you know, it's not going to go Spider-Man on you. Let's see the ankle. So you got the ankle pivot, which is very nice. You get those wider stances. It tor twists, and it rocks back and forth. And he does stand all right. So you don't really have too much problems as long as you're on a nice sturdy surface. As you see, the engineer is uh, slightly taller than the predator. And almost a head height. Yeah, but you know who would win in a fight though, so, you know, the height and bulk has nothing to do with it. Alright, so that's, that concludes our uh, look here at the NECA engineer, you know, chair suit version, or a space jockey for, you know, those uh, alien fans. It's a very nice figure, uh, you know, I don't think you'll regret uh, having it unless you want to play with it, but then if you want to play with it, you know, it's not, you're going to be disappointed, but for a display piece, it's an amazing, uh, it'll look good with your aliens, it'll look good with your predators. So, I do highly recommend it. Alright, this is Vectar. Thanks for watching.